have you ever wondered to yourself, what if this happens or what if that happens? We can spend all our time, our entire lives perhaps, being just filled with what if questions. My name is Jonathan Beard and I'm the program specialist here at Friends of Citrus and the Nature Coast where we are helping people healing lives. Today we want to take a look at some what if questions. You see, there's a never ending trail of various scenarios that we could deal with. And as we begin to think about the what if possibilities, the debate just seems endless. What if, what if I contract COVID-19? What if, what if, what if this is the end of the world? What if, what if I lose my job? What if, what if somebody that's close to me dies? All serious questions, all need to be considered with some common sense precautions. But those what if questions can continue on forever if we allow them to. For instance, what if, what if I get hit while crossing the street? Now, granted, some questions are, make more sense than others and are more serious in nature than others. But we need to let go of some of our stinking thinking because it's out of our control to begin with. The negative doom and gloom and all the what ifs and uh, what ifs and what ifs could continue on to affinity if we let them. But with some common sense precautions and with a renewed mind and perspective, perhaps we could turn those what ifs into some positive outcomes as we learn and improve and grow. We'd be better off focusing on the positive instead of asking what's the worst that could happen. Ask yourself rather, what are some positives that could come out of this? What if, what if things turn out better than I had ever hoped? Hmm. What if, what if this challenge that I'm facing leads to new opportunities? Hmm. What if, what if this season of change is intended to set me up for a future success. You see, folks, fear does not stop death. It stops life. And worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. Fear does not stop death. It stops life. And worrying does not take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. So stay healthy. Believe in yourself and others. Find a balance that is workable. So the next time you're tempted to ask, what if? Turn your negative thinking into an adventure of searching for the positive. What if focusing on future solutions? Do your best and trust God with the rest. Stay safe out there, everybody. Hi, my name is Susan Quinnell, and I am the Director of Program Services at Friends of Citrus and the Nature Coast. We provide help, hope, and healing to anyone who has suffered a loss. Our organization serves people of all ages and stages of grief through grief support groups, telephone support, children's grief camps, online support, and offerings of various other wellness support programs. Our team is here for you 
and we are working very hard to provide these grief resources. Our work depends on your financial support. Please log on to our website, Facebook page, mail in or call to leave your gift today. Thank you. Thank you.